Hey everyone, today I will introduce to you the batch extraction of linear facilities. As the name suggests, linear facilities such as guardrails, curbs and other road facilities are more common along the road. Within the facility page there is a linear facility extraction function. In some censuses or map industry applications, it is necessary to extract the upper and lower edges of the linear facility. So the software provides a method for batch extracting linear facilities, which is a template-based extraction. First, we need to activate the entire page of template editing through the edit button. Then click on the section, intercept a more suitable section at any position of the belt-like feature, and click the button to add points. For example, I'm going to extract the upper edge and lower edge of this guardrail. I'll add two template points at its up and lower edge respectively. Later, we will perform this batch extraction based on these two template feature points. When we add the feature points, if the added position is not suitable, we can click the select button to select the template point and then move it. After confirming the position of the template point is correct, choose to save it. When saving, we can customize a name for the template file, or save it to our default template file. After completion, we can close the template editing function. Then we can select any layer in the right window to store the vector of the road facility that we will extract later. Then we click the line button to give it a starting point and a direction. We can choose the manual mode and keep clicking forward. Of course, if the point is mis-selected, we can recall the click. Its detection starts from the second point to detect forward. We can manually confirm the step size and the software will automatically detect the forward itself. Of course, we can also use the spacebar to control the automatic mode. If the detection in this area is inaccurate, we can tap space to stop and right-click to undo. Then tap space again and it will continue automatically to detect forward. Click the space bar again and it will stop accordingly, allowing us to modify each detect template node as we go. If the belt-shaped feature happens to be an arc, then we can manually switch to this arc drawing and provide it an arc path to let it detect forward. We can also tap the S key on the keyboard to switch whether the current detection is to use an arc to detect or use a straight line to detect. After the detection is complete, click the Enter key directly to complete the drawing. The vector result after detection is saved in the vector layer we selected and can be viewed by clicking. We can see that two vector lines were detected once, and they are respectively located on the top edge and the bottom edge of the guardrail, which are stored in the layer I just selected. This is the end of the video for batch extraction of linear facilities. Thank you for watching.